Hi, me again. And not content with his 1.3 odd million quid salary he gets from the BBC, and God knows how much money he gets from Walker's Crisps for doing their adverts, everyone's favourite BBC presenter, Gary Lineker, has now got his own show on ITV and another paycheck. Let's take a look at this. Gary Lineker set to host new ITV game show. The Match of the Day presenter is said to have signed a five-figure deal with BBC's rival broadcaster to front the upcoming series, Sitting on a Fortune. Yeah, that is a good nickname for Gary Lineker, actually, isn't it? Sitting on a Fortune. That's what he does for the BBC. He sits and he earns a fortune. Someone's got a sense of humour. An insider told the Daily Star newspaper, Gary filmed a pilot episode of Sitting on a Fortune, and it went really well. So execs have commissioned a full series. They think the show has the potential to be a big hit. I'm not convinced it'll be a big hit. Gary is said to have agreed to shoot six episodes later in 2021, and the program is expected to get a prime time slot on ITV. Wow. On the show, contestants will answer questions as they try to win a top prize jackpot of £100,000. The source added the format is very entertaining. It will have viewers hooked. Oh, God, I don't think it will. One, I think people are just bored with Chris shows now, aren't they? And Gary Lineker, really, Gary Lineker, will have viewers hooked. Oh, I'm not convinced. I'm not sure if you can tell, but I've recently quit smoking and haven't had one. I think it's five days now. I'm not sure if that's showing or not. Gary is hoping he can be the next household name to become a successful game show host. The move comes after Piers Morgan previously joked that ITV couldn't afford to hire the retired footballer. I'm surprised they can. Much has been made of Gary's BBC salary, but this year he signed a new five-year contract and agreed to a £400,000 pay cut. Yeah, but he's, I think it is still 1.3 odd million he's getting. He's not skint, and he's not hungry, and he certainly ain't going to be visiting a food bank anytime soon. Don't forget, he makes that money from walkers as well. And the BBC job... Ain't even that big a job, is it? Yeah, we don't really do a lot. Director General Tim Davey commented, Gary Lineker has signed up to a new five-year contract, saving a quarter over his last contract. You could have saved more. You could have saved more. It's unnecessary what you're paying him. You don't even have that much football on the BBC anymore, do you? So how is he earning that much money? And if you want to get more value from his contract, then you have him present a quiz show for no extra salary on your channel. But letting him have a contract that allows him to go off and do other stuff and earn money elsewhere, it's a piss take, isn't it? Gary, whose latest deal keeps him at the BBC until 2025, added, I love working with the BBC. Yeah, I would too if I did bugger all a week for 1.3 million quid. And I'm very proud to continue being a part of their outstanding football team. Yeah, of course you are, Gary. Blimey. I don't know how we got the contract to allow him to do advertising, I don't know how he's managed to get a contract with ITV, and I do not understand how he gets over a million quid from the BBC for doing not very much work. When there's tons of retired footballers, they'll work a lot cheaper than that and probably be a bit better than him. It's bad. Now, what do you think about Gary Lineker? I've got a fair idea what most of the viewers of this channel think about Gary Lineker, but I'd be interested to read your thoughts in the comments, so please leave your comments, let me know. Keep the language fairly family friendly though, won't you? Please. While you're down there, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything, but it really helps support the channel and it keeps you up to date with the latest videos that I put out. And speaking of other videos, I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.